here you are. Yay. You found your way to this channel. I'm so, so honored to welcome you. Welcome. Welcome to Joyful Soul Expansion. <laughs> Oof. What a journey humanity is on. My God. <laughs> we are transcending so much at this time, this great time of transmutation and transformation. And it, it might seem to you like things are getting like bad or worse or whatever, but they're not. They're not. This is the necessary disintegration of everything that keeps us too heavy and dense and stuck in fear beliefs that makes it hard for us to actually ascend. And to ascend is often misunderstood. To ascend is not to leave, to leave this world, to leave this body. To ascend is to rise up in consciousness. The transition is from third dimensional thinking, thought-based living, mind-made self-living, into fifth dimensional being, which is about deep feeling and deep connection to the heart of the soul. And that transition does not involve that we're like leaving our bodies behind. That transition involves that we bring these higher frequencies deep into the body, that we ground the essence deep into the core of the earth, that we come back to our spiritual senses, not by going out there somewhere, but by fully coming back to inhabiting this body with our consciousness. So it's an amazing journey that we're on. And it's an individual journey. And it's also a collective journey at the same time. The ascension process is an entire, you know, it's like you, you humanity level awakening. Um, we've been here before a couple of times and it didn't, it didn't work out, but it's, it's okay. We are right in it. We're just about to hit the third biggest wave of the ascension energy coming at us, coming in 2025. And uh, a lot of people are gearing up for it. There are more and more people waking up. There are more and more people willing to stand as pillars of this new consciousness, of this evolved consciousness. More and more people that are willing to do the great work of our times and truly heal and make themselves whole so that they can stand, so that they can stand as vessels through which that higher consciousness can become more and more grounded into Gaia, right? It's about bringing the God energy down through the body into Gaia. So there are more and more pillars around the earth that are willing to stand and anchor these energies, right? Anchor the high frequency energies through the body into the 5D earth. And if you're looking up channels like this, clearly you feel a call. You feel a call to be here with us doing this work. So let me introduce myself. My name is Julie Claire. I am a spiritual guide, a teacher, and a healer. And I have been devoting my life work to helping declutter the soul structure and prepare our energy bodies for the ascension process. It's it's not even preparing, I should say, doing it because we are in the middle of it. It's not like it's something in the future. It's not in the future, it's right here, right now. And you're looking for answers. You're a soul searcher, a spiritual seeker, and you're looking for answers. And the answers, in a nutshell, are found deep within yourself. The tricky thing is that most of us are still stuck in our minds, hijacked by fear structures and defense structures within us that make it very hard for us to go deep enough into our body to go hang out where the truth resides, to actually know what it's like to come home to your soul, to truly learn to come back into your heart, your sacred heart space, and live from here live from a state of expansive energy and spiritual connection to yourself, all the while being very grounded in the body. So 
I, I'm a woman that has been through many, many different forms of trainings in my life. I was, I was a very, um, angry teenager <laughs> from, you know, just trauma and abuse from childhood. And I knew that the world I was living in was a bunch of BS, but I didn't know how to get out of it. I didn't know, I didn't have the tools to get out of it. My process at that time for a decade was to simply go into, you know, complete rebellion towards society and explored a lot of psychedelics and certainly had, certainly found, um, certainly found through psychedelics that it's like, okay, that's, that's more the real world than this stuff. And then from there, I was able to kind of calm down and realize, okay, I'm in this world for a reason. So I'm not just here to, you know, kind of like be a rebel and just not want to be part of society. So I transitioned from being a complete rebellious person to going into university and doing the work to become a university professor. Uh, I spent 12 years in academia. I have a BA in communications and a master's in sociology. And as I was nearing the end of a PhD, I it just became clear that it's like the answers, what I was hoping to do in terms of helping awake, awaken humanity couldn't really be done through that means, but I had very, very deep experiences there and a lot of a lot of good like development of the mind and the intellect and the ability to look at very complicated things and, and decipher them and, and distill them down to core pieces of information that are not too hard to understand and that but that are still very powerful. So as I walked away from academia in a PhD, now with an intellectual brain that was like fully like hello, right? I'm structured. I get it. I understand how to process a lot of information. I then moved on to exploding into the world of spirit. I worked with shamans. I worked with alchemists. I worked with many different um, mentors and modalities that uh, allowed me to bridge the gap between intellect and intuition. And finally, in that journey, I still had to bring myself fully back into my body because the body is where the traumas were. And I had kind of like learned to hang out in the upper mind and hang out in there where it's all vast and expansive and, and not painful. <laughs> so a very important integration period of my life was through plant medicines. And they, I'm very grateful for them. They helped me really, really ground back into my body and go meet the traumas where they were and and integrate the unit integrate the intellect the intuition and the body the intellect the intuition and the feeling and that's called evolutionary embodiment it's a process many of us are in it you know we've gone super high up there but the ascension energy and the process that we're in the awakening of humanity requires that we embody these energies so my service to the world has a lot to do with this evolutionary embodiment process i help soul soul searchers and spiritual seekers fully ground back into their bodies so that they can truly inhabit the heart of their soul and open up open up experience the spiritual awakening that is underway. And I get to bring to that service the many tools and teachings that I've learned through all these different spaces that I existed in. So, you know, deep cognitive understanding of the process that we're in and how our brain functions and how our body builds defense structures and how we can actually go into these places with the energy of the sacred heart space and allow them to dissolve through feeling very safe because we understand what's going on. And then doing the meditations and the guided processes and activations that allow the energies to come in and support us and help us in the process that allow you to learn to come back into your true dwelling place, your heart space, 
from where you can do very, very expansive and deep meditations. And finally, the body, <laughs> making sure we keep the body with us all the time. And that is done through the form of meditation that I teach, which is very, very embodied. We are constantly making sure that the lower fields, the lower levels of the body are brought with us. You know, we are making sure that we are feeling it in our bodies, that the emotions are flowing, that the thoughts are allowed to be there at the same time as we choose to be the witnessing consciousness, very expanded in which all of that is going on. So that's in a nutshell, that's what I do. And I'm, I'm going to like do a little series of videos. You're going to see them. I don't know if it's on that side or that side <laughs> from the playlist, but <laughs> explaining to you a little bit of how these different aspects of what I teach, how they function with a living example of each of them, because it's a three-part system. I call it multidimensional harmonization. And we align the body-mind connection, which is which is how we allow the mind to understand that it's safe for us to be in the body. And we expand the sacred heart space, which is how we, we come back to activating that center so that that is what feeds our mind and our body. And finally, we awaken the soul dimension, which is the more advanced alchemy work that I offer to, to a, few, a few students that uh, go through an application process with me. What else do I want to say? I'm just so happy you're here. Please enjoy this channel. I, I tend to offer the teaching part of my spiritual mentorship program as videos that you can watch, which is the cognitive understanding part. And I invite you to consider coming into my world more deeply. I invite you to consider booking a free session with me so we can kind of chit chat, feel our energies, feel how it blends together and offer you a living example of the energy healing work that I do, which is very focused on helping you do it yourself. I hold space, I guide you. And it's, ex it's excessively powerful because it's so simple. We just come back to the body. And from there, we offer it the space, the, the space of the heart, the frequency of the heart. And we offer that to the mind as well. And then the whole unit starts working together. It furthers the evolutionary embodiment process. And the more of us, the more of us, that come back to our body and bridge the gap between intellect and intuition, the more the waves of ascension will be able to come deeply into the core of humanity, into the heart of the collective unconscious. And that's, I can't imagine anything more freaking awesome <laughs> to do at this time. And if you're here, I'm pretty sure that that's where you're heading to. So come. Come, join me. <laughs> I'm so, 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 so happy you found this channel. I hope you enjoy what you find here. Please look in the description below to find out how to book a call with me so that we can assess if I'm the right person for you at this time in your growth and your soul development. I am very, very honored very deeply honored to know that you would consider allowing me to be your guide in your so your joyful soul expansion journey in your journey back home deep into the heart of your soul <laughs> oh my god it's so awesome oh thank you so much for watching this video feel free to share feel free to let people know it's time the great work of our times is now Come, participate, be a pillar with us. Help bring the new level of consciousness onto the earth. Help us in the transition from 3D to 5D living. It's time to transform our bodies from third to fourth density. Let's do it. <laughs>